Los Flores Ranch Park's virtual education program. Today we're going to focus on mammals and some of the mammals that we might see at Los Flores Ranch Park and some you may see in your own neighborhood or your own park or anywhere around California. I'm going to talk about this ferocious guy right here. Does anybody know what this is? This is a badger, a California badger. And he lives out here at Los Flores. He also lives in other places in the Santa Maria Valley. He's interesting because he loves to dig. He has these massive claws and he can dig dens down in the ground five feet by five feet. That's huge. He likes to eat different kinds of uh, rodents. So he's really beneficial to our environment also. Um, he, uh, what do you notice about him? You notice his claws, you notice his ferocious teeth. He's really scary and can make lots of noise and be very scary if you ramp, happen to run into him. Be sure not to tell your dog to go after him because these guys are pretty mean. But he won't go after you. If you see one, just be amazed that you saw him and let him go on his way. I have another beauty over here. Does anybody know what that is? If you can look over at his tail, that's a clue. That's a bobcat. Another animal you'll see out in this area in the Santa Maria Valley and at Los Flores. He's got little tufts on his ears and he, of course, is related to the domestic cat. He loves to hunt uh, rodents, rabbits, and other small creatures. He may even eat birds, but he's fascinating. You may see one in your neighborhood. Just let him go by. It's a good reminder to tell you guys, if you have animals at home, be sure to feed them in the house or in the garage. Don't ever leave pet food in the backyard because these guys may smell them and come around and eat it. They don't know that that belongs to your precious animal. All right, this one right here, this one's amazing too. Does anybody know what this is? He's really stinky. You don't ever want to mess with one of these. It's a striped skunk. Pretty cool, huh? These guys' defensive mechanism, of course, is their stinkiness. They can spray accurately up to 30 feet. So 30 feet away, they can get you with that spray that they have. And they can get your dogs and your cats too. You know what animal loves these and hunts these regularly? It's the great horned owl. See them up there? Have you ever heard them at night? I challenge you to go outside at night when it's starting to get dark and see if you hear a great horned owl. There's also barn owls you could hear also. But go online, check it out, see what they sound like, and if you can mimic the sound they make, they'll respond to you. It's really cool. They are only out pretty much late in the day and at night. So that's something you guys can all do together. The reason why the great horned owl can hunt this skunk without getting sprayed is that great horned owls are extremely silent and strong. So they can swoop down and get one of these and they will have it for dinner, no problem, and never get sprayed. So if you notice something about all of these creatures, they all work together in some way. They may be on the food chain for each other, but they also kind of are important to everything that we do every day because they control other problem animals, especially rodents. All right, so we talked about the bobcat and then over here, how many have seen these in their yard? Oh my gosh, they can make a mess. Never leave your trash out, they'll find it, they're smart. Does anybody know what this is called? A raccoon. They'll dig in your trash cans. They can figure out how to get the lids off. They're very smart. They live around here. They've known for eating fish. They like areas that have water, but they're out in this area and even in the neighborhoods in the Santa Maria Valley. 
So again, keep your trash covered and tightly sealed and don't feed your animals in the backyard. All right, how many of you have seen coyotes? This is a pelt of a coyote. And if you notice the color, are you seeing a pattern here? And the colorings of the different animals? Well, they all learn to blend in with the California environment. They may have other colors in them in different areas. They learn to blend. And that's camouflage, blend, and that's their protective mechanism. That's how they hunt, that's how they hide. And that's even how they nest. So depending on the animal, coyotes are very uh, common in this area. And it's another reminder that you should never feed your animals outside or leave the food. Because coyotes are always hungry, just like your dog might be. And they will go out and look for food. And they'll smell some yummy dog food. And they could, can jump a fence four to five feet high, no problem. So. Don't be afraid if you see one, you just walk away, let it pass, it'll go away. But uh, you may see one, and you may see one if you're out visiting at Los Flores, and again, you may see one in the, in the town of, and the Santa Maria Valley. That's about it. I wanted to just kind of introduce you to some popular um, mammals. One more I don't want to forget about is our black-tailed deer, which are here in this valley and there are quite a few of them. If you see one, you're lucky, they're beautiful, and they will stand so still, you won't even know they're there because they match and they camouflage in our California landscape also. See you next time.